Welcome back. All right, let's see if Mike Apple's doing any shopping today. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing and okay. No. <laughs> no, none. Not yet. Okay, are you are you a deal hunter or not so much? I don't I'm trying to think if I've ever done uh, Black Friday in the traditional sense. And the answer to that would be no. Not a big crowd guy. No. Now, having said that, this year, you know, we're being told go online, do it through your computer. Uh, so maybe that'll be the trend. Although, you know, last weekend, if, if that was any indication with people lining up at the outlet mall in Yorkdale, Yorkdale, of course, not off limits, but yes. uh, the Milton Outlet Mall, I guess, is already open for business this morning. So, yeah, you're mm -hmm. still going to see some big crowds, maybe, Melanie. And the big question is, will there be the deals? You know, um, we don't have that competition uh, from, you know, the idea of being able to cross the border, do any cross-border shopping, per se. Um, which a lot of people took advantage of in previous years. And um, again, you know, uh, getting Canadians to part with their cash is maybe going to be a bit of a challenge here for the retail space, regardless just because of uh, the fact that, uh, you know, it's been a challenging year from an economic standpoint, certainly for a lot of people, and there just may not be as much money to spend, or maybe, you know, because we haven't been spending as much. <laughs> elsewhere yeah what do we need there might be some more that's the thing you know, I, I look to what, what does people keep saying what do you what would you like for christmas and i i, just, I don't yes. need anything maybe jogging pants no <laughs> <laughs> to be at home like that comes a tough stuff. question on the best of on the best of years this year it's like yeah i'm kind of good thanks <laughs> i don't need anything and in fact i'm sort of looking to what people what other people need right like how people can like, give back well, it, well the other thing too is part of the joy i suppose is going out and browsing and finding something to surprise uh, yeah. your significant other or family members, right? As opposed to just going from a list and, and getting them what they've asked for. It's that extra step. And But now it's like, I don't really want to go out and browse. I don't feel yeah. comfortable doing that. So No, yeah. absolutely not. So we'll be following Black Friday and, and all the trends there. Uh, but let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about, oh, what is this? Extending work from home policies? Mike Apple, yes. what is this? Well, it is the big banks saying that... Uh, they're just keeping their staff home mm -hmm. till April now. Wow. Every month that just keeps getting pushed, Melanie. And, you know, what have you been in the path, path system at all? No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm literally work I. and then home, but I know it's quiet, 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 that's quiet. The, and, and, and that's the thing. Like, you know, it's it's maybe 15 percent. If that of the office buildings downtown are actually being utilized mm -hmm. by previous staffers who are now working from home, that means you know, it, it's so quiet in the path system. I've, all, I've kind of thought, I wouldn't mind actually coming into the city and kind of walking around and seeing what it's like. But then I go, no, never mind. Shouldn't do that. So, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I do feel hesitant. bad for all those retailers, though, that are within uh, the path system, the that thing. they rely just, on the daily. Yeah, it's tough. Think That's... about the crowds that were there before all of this, how mm -hmm. busy it was before nine o'clock in the morning and after five in the afternoon as yep. people rushed to the go station. I mean, mm -hmm. the go stations... Uh, you look at them and they're still a quarter filled. If even. Maybe. Yeah. It, maybe. It feels so much quieter. Yeah. Yep. I take the subway every single day and it's quiet. Yeah. So yep. quiet. Um, all right. We've got time for one more. Do you want to do Bitcoin or do you want to no. do sports wagering? Sports? I sports think wagering. sports. Okay. Let's, let's, do let's do talk it. sports wagering because, uh, yeah, Bitcoin made a big move yesterday and nobody understands it. But anyway, uh, <laughs> sports no wagering does. people do understand. Yeah. And the federal government kind of out of the blue said uh, they're moving ahead with this idea of single game sports wagering. So this really changes the playing field, pardon the pun, um, for, you know, watching sports on television and listening to it on radio. Because right now you can bet, I think, it, what is, uh, you have to, a minimum of three games on pro line. But if it's, you know, more interactive, that is the key to this. The interactivity between the viewer, the, the, the game on the field, and uh, through interactive devices. And mm -hmm. if I can lay a few bucks on a game, single game, that that could have a lot more uh, people getting all of a sudden interested. Look what the NFL, you know, why why is it as successful? Sure, it's the game, but it's also the wagering that's going on on the side. I'm seeing from my peripheral here, Devo Brown standing here going like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mike, as always, appreciated. Degen but degenerate mm -hmm, gambler. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> no, Did you call no, I'm saying yes to the numbers, what you're saying. Yes to, yes I'm, not, I'm not throwing out. Saying. I can't afford that <laughs> stuff, man. I do enough reckless things. I don't need to throw my money away. <laughs> Mike, have yourself a great weekend. You too. Take care.